give a seed that pains God. There is nothing like that. Prophet Joel, in this video, I've give details explanation and which I believe it will actually help and stop the issue of debate when it comes to tithe and offering. Yes, you see, when you want to give tithe, you must always know that you are giving tithe with understanding. When you are giving offering, you are giving offering with understanding. You see, giving is good. Giving is a commandment. Giving is powerful. And I believe the video you are about to watch, what Prophet Joel actually talked about, it will help a lot of people and it will answer a lot of questions. Remember, there was a video I post pertaining to tithe and offering by Apostle Joshua Selman. And it explained more. You are going to see the link in the bow in the you will see the link in the comment so that you actually understand the reason why you give understand giving you see it's working it may not be working for some people but i tell you give us never lack give us don't lack just watch this video and please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you the culture of the church is built on free will giving without compulsion i was spoke of it are we together for god love a cheerful giver the one who is not compelled to give so before you read malachi go and read the prophecy of habakkuk and Haggai, i think because the prophet told the people, Judah, to build again the temple of God, and God is going to restore unto them. The blessings, God promised. And when they built the temple of God, they were not seeing the blessings. So they began to hold God as unjust. And God now came out. I said, you guys have not been faithful with your resources. The riches you have, I'm the one who gave you power to make it. You've let the priests to abandon their duty posts because they are dying of hunger. The widows and the orphans that were supposed to be taken care of by the tithes that should be collected every three, three years. You've abandoned that. So the people without land are suffering. Go and look at it. The average Christian that doesn't study well. We just say, the Bible said they all got keep quiet. Give a seed that pains God. There is nothing like that. Give a seed to provoke God in all humility. There's nothing like that. If a seed ever pain you, that seed is an idol. God is circumcising you. Because faith is given knowing the power of the one that has commanded you. This was why Abraham was not afraid. Because he knew the same God is able to raise Isaac. The Lord said you should give your car. Let me go and pray. The Lord said, give your land. Yes, I will obey the Lord, but let me pray. We judge all things, including what you are saying. Hey, you are not under authority. But now the extreme is that when you say this, wicked Christians will now say, glory to God. This is the real pastor. Oh, well, that's why they collect our money. Uh, since we are not giving tight, uh, <laughs> place that my offering of 200 naira. Give me 150 change. <laughs> now, why do we give to kingdom? Before you give in the church, first of all, design Christ. See, if Christ is not the focus of giving, that thing is idolatry. Design who? The women who were around Christ's ministry, the Bible said they minister to Christ's need, not the needs of the disciples. The needs of the disciples were met as the people minister to what? The needs of Christ. So if people are giving without discerning Christ, there's a problem. So before you give anything to Prophet Jewel, be sure as a Christian that what he's doing is representing Christ. Now, immature Christians will struggle there because they've been taught to give through Satan's own pattern. No, Satan's pattern is that, don't worry, I'll give you all this thing, but just exchange it with worship. So you see them dancing because of what God can do. If you shout, amen, take your neighbor's blessing. 
I cannot say amen to that kind of thing. How will I come and take my neighbor's blessing? You know, we are just doing this to cause the people to be alive. There are better ways to do it. So if you've designed Christ, then you design the body of Christ. Understanding that the fivefold ministries, we are put in the body of Christ for something called equipping of the saints. Equipping means if God sends Prophet Joel here, Prophet Joel's ministry is to accomplish something that the saints in this territory may be lacking in. To bring them into fullness. Are we together? Now that's how giving works in the church. Now when I've designed Christ and the body, the needs of the body, I can now by the leading of God or by the conviction of my maturity, you don't need to be led. If you are convicted and mature, you are able to design that what these people are doing is meeting a need in the body of Christ. An important need that has been neglected. The way Prophet Joel is talking about the prophetic ministry, I think this is what the prophetic ministry has been lacking. From that perspective, giving becomes an enabler. We are enabling you with our resources to continue on this path. Are we together? So that the man of God doesn't get discouraged or distracted. Because I tell you, many pastors died because of the, their needs. When you have house rent to pay, trust me, it can affect your prayer life. Because the pastor is somebody's brother. The pastor is still somebody's son. So if I've designed that what he's doing is of God and I have worldly resources or earthly resources, God has put it under my domain. So this thing shouldn't just be on social media. How much does it cost to put it on satellite? Let's put it there so that it can reach more people. Now, if you give this way, sir, you don't expect thank you because it is your duty as a son in the kingdom. It is. It has nothing to do with the pastor. Whether he thanks you or not, you've matured to know your father's business. Well, guess what? Why is it that false prophets are heavily sponsored? The average Christian is immature. Maturity is the cure to falsehood. False prophets cannot manipulate a believer like me. They, they don't, they can't. How? I'm not pursuing gifting. I know the word of God. And I manifest the gifts of the spirit. That is where someone can step out. Uh, since I've been here, Miss Kani, what does this place need? When you are a Christian and you think that we just know you've crossed, you are mature. You see, maturity brings a sense of responsibility. They cannot influence you. Whether, no, no. The moment you step into the house of God, okay, they need this, okay, they, they need this, they, oh, they need this, okay, Holy Ghost. That's maturity. They can thank you. They, can, they may not thank you. That's your duty to what God is doing. If we do not teach giving this way, we will continue going down the spiral of materialistic gospel. Meanwhile, I was telling our partners, and you can be a part of that. I will see you after service. I was telling them, I said, the moment you sponsor truth, you come into the forefront of warfare. Except it is not truth you are sponsoring. Are we together? When you partner with us, you are a co-laborer. Don't think you are, I like him, I give, I give him money. I like him, I give him money. No. You are a co-laborer. So guess what? Satan will try to fight against that channel with which we are using to sponsor truth. So you find certain well-meaning believers. The moment they started to give, all their businesses began to go down. It's an attack to test your faith. If your faith still stands gallant, then you become a custodian of the wealth of the kingdom. Meanwhile, to become a custodian, you must have been a man who may swear to his own heart and not turn his back. The church has need. I'm giving my land. But then you have brothers. What land will you have? You don't turn your back. Church has poisoned your heart. Church, no. Nobody actually cajoled him. He put the need of God first before his own. And guess what? They cannot force a man to this level. 
it is the way a man hallows his God that will determine how he will treat the servants of his God. You are not sitting here because some of you are not richer than me, more anointed than me, older than me. You are sitting here because you've known Jesus has placed this one in the body. And we must honor the decisions of our Lord. Not because I like the way he talks. No, you've discerned the body of Christ. That's why people feel like I fight men of God. No, it is okay to have doctrinal disagreement. But that doesn't mean I hate the person. Am I foolish? I'm leading the people too. I believe you are blessed by the video you just finished watching. Thank you so much. And God bless you. God bless you real good. Please, in case you are a new subscriber, turn on the notification bell. Or maybe you are just passing by and you come across this channel. Please, subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you can receive notification. Share, like, and make your comment. God bless you. See you on our next video. Thank you.